Hello everybody, my name is JJ Menu and I'm an application engineer at Arrow Electronics. Today, in order to turn on and off LEDs, we will use counters and PWMs. First, let's design the basic counter. Opening the datasheet of the basic counter, the basic counter is programmable from 2 to 32 bits. A simple 2-bit counter is designed in our project. In other words, the four values are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And then it rollovers to 0, 0. The output of the counter is a bus, but we can select to have the red LED connected to line 0 of the bus. Each time we push the switch button, the LED toggles. If we want the user to push two times the button in order to toggle the LED, just, we just need to connect to line one of the bus. Now, we would like to do this automatically. Instead of a switch button, let's connect a clock to the clock input of the basic counter. The default clock is 48 MHz that can be divided by a max of 65,536. So let's create a clock of one kilohertz and a 10-bit counter, and let's connect the red LED to line 9. As 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 1024, the LED will flash at around 1 Hz. A more complex and versatile component is the TCPWM that stands for the Timer Counter PWM component. Let's configure it as a PWM. To continue to flash the LED at 1 Hz frequency, we configure with a period of 32,000 counts, a compare of 16,000, and a clock of 32 kHz. The line output of the TCPWM component is connected to the red LED. The LED is off when the counter value is between 0 and compare value, and the LED is on when the counter is between compare and period values. Let's call the TCPWM component PWM. Let's build the project in order to get the APIs generated. A PWM is generated with all the methods and the PWM start command is called. Build the program and program the device. The, air, the red LED flashes at 1 Hz. To change the frequency or the ratio, just change the period and compare registers values. Even if we write only one line of code, PWM start, the program is more complicated if we click on our PWM widget. We see a period of 32,000 counts and a compare of 16,000 counts. Going back to our C code, Reading the definition of PWM start and PWM init, we see PWM write period and PWM write compare, and the period values and compare values. PSOC creators created this code automatically. On a previous video, we could turn on an LED by pushing a switch button and without writing any code. On the next video, we are going to start to write some code by managing our actions thanks to interrupts. But again, the ARM architecture and these APIs generated by the PSOC creator will make the job very easy.